Whoa. Today's video, we're going to be replacing this old gate. To today's video, today we're going to be hanging a gate. If you check out here, our other video, where you can watch us making it. Um, but today we're going to be getting it on. We've got to put a new post down the side here. We've got to try and accommodate for this bit of plumbing that's running down the side, but we'll sort that out. Simple job, first thing to do, we're going to get this off, get it out of the way, get marked up for our post, fix that, fit the hinges to the gate, and then put the gate on the post. Should be quite simple. Um... I'm opting here just to remove this with a crowbar and a hammer because they've used slotted screws and I just don't have the patience for undoing slotted screws. Um... I'm just removing this latch. We did actually do a separate video uh, of how to fit this latch, but that video's gone awry. But I'm just taking that off just so we've got the we can put this in because it's a little bit too long. It does want trimming back anyway. Okay, so we're going to be fixing these today with these kind of fixings. Simply just drill a hole through and, uh, and then fix them in. No plugs required. We're going to try and see how, how well it works. Right, so we've got our gate post on, we've got that plumbed in, we've got plenty of fixings in there. We've opted to use one of these like concrete fixing screws with a star drive. If you are going to use them, make sure you've got a few star drive bits, because they're, especially using an impact driver, because they've got a tendency just to, to take, take the ends off. Um, and it recommends using, for this one, a 7 mil hole, but I went at 6.5 mil hole just to make it so it's a little bit tighter when it when it grips on there. Um, now we're going to get the hinges on the gate and gate onto the post. Okay, so now we're just going to put our T hinges on. We've got three. Going to run one at the bottom, one at the middle, one at the top. We just fold the hinge around there to get our positioning. Make sure it's nice and square. I'll put a small pilot in. And our first. Okay, so we've got our hinges on. Uh, now we're going to fix the hinges to the posts. I put this bit of timber on the floor uh, just 
to lift the gate up a little bit. When, when the hinges are on, we can move this out of the way and the gate won't be touching the floor. Um, the gate won't be touching the ground, not the floor. And yeah, that's it. We just simply screw them on now. So we've got our hinges on. We just want to point out that the screws that came with the hinges, we believe are a little bit light, but we've decided in this situation that we're going to see how it goes with the customer and see if they are strong enough. We're more than happy to come back and change them if they're not, and we'll let you know if not. But for now, the hinges are on. We're just going to see if the gate opens up. Okay, so we put this latch on back in the workshop and we knew it when we put it on it would be a bit too long so now we're just going to trim it off uh, until we get the right length. Right so we've got our latch on, we would have liked to have a longer latch on there but we couldn't go any longer with that because further of it hitting the fence, this fence could also blow in the wind and we don't want the gate getting stuck so we made a little block there, screwed that to the fence and fixed it back to the um, this post as well, the concrete post, and that just latches, just nice. We've got to found a bolt on here, so we're going to put it on that gate. Okay, so we found this bolt on the customer's gate, and the one that back on here. So we're going to put it on. Okay, so we're going to run you through uh, the stages that we've gone through just to get this gate on. Simply, we got the post on using those fixings that we showed you. Uh, very simple to do. Um, then we use the big T hinges. We'd already got the latch on. Simply a case, we lifted the, the gate off the ground a little bit, secured the hinges, and then put the latch on. We had to make up a little something here to get the latch to work. Put the customer's bolt back on. And that's it, finished. So that was our how to hang a gate. Don't forget to watch part one of this little series of how we built the gate. Um, and that's it. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please like, share and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. And thanks for watching.